द बेस्ट क्रिसमस प्रेजेंट इन द वर्ल्ड ग्रेड एट इंग्लिश चैप्टर वन दि आदर फाउंड रोल टॉप डेस्क इन अ जंक शॉप इन ब्रिटपोर्ट इट वॉज इन अ बैड कंडीशन बट चीप he thought that he could restore it so he bought it he began to work on it on a christmas eve he pulled out the drawers of the desktop he found that this had been badly damaged by fire and water the man who sold it had told him that it was very old it was of 19th century and made of oak the last drawer had stuck fast he had to use much force to open it when it opened it revealed a secret space in it he found a small tin box on the top of the tin box these words were written jim's last letter received january 25 1915 to be buried with me when the time comes inside there was an envelope with the address Mrs Jim Macpherson 12 Copper Beaches Bridport the date was December 26 1914 the author read the letter out of curiosity the owner of the disk must have put it put it in the letter had been written by a captain of the english army his name was jim macpherson he had written it to his wife Connie Macpherson A wonderful incident had happened on the battlefield on the Christmas day Jim Macpherson had narrated it in his letter The English and the Germans were at war The two armies stood in the respective trenches on the two sides of the no man's land Suddenly Macpherson saw someone waving a white flag from the enemy side Then he saw many German soldiers calling out to them. They were wishing a happy Christmas to the English soldiers. Some English soldiers shouted back, "Same to you." The German thought that that was all. To their surprise, they saw many Germans moving towards them. The captain was alarmed. It could be a trick, but it was not actually. They were bringing with them german wine and cane meat not guns now there were no rifles between the soldiers they were hugging one another the german officer moved towards macpherson they shook hands very warmly then the german officer said that he was from dusseldorf and that he played cello in the orchestra he gave his name as hans fulf in return macpherson also introduced himself he said that he was a school teacher from dorset hans wolf smiled he said he knew dorset in fact he had never been to england but he knew english his favorite writer was thomas hardy his favorite book was far from the madding crowd it was from there he had learnt all about dorset macpherson shared with hans wolf the christmas cake his wife had sent for him hans wolf said that the marzipan was the best he had ever tasted it was a wonderful christmas party in the midst of the war then a soldier brought out a football the soldiers played with macpherson and hans wolf clapped and cheered hans wolf suggested that the world would be much better if the problems were resolved by a football match instead of war after the football match all the drinks and eatables were consumed now it was time to part to depart hans wolf saluted macpherson and walked away slowly and unwillingly that night the germans were heard singing a carol christmas carol the english soldiers replied with a rousing chorus of another carol they exchanged carols for a while and then it was all silence they slept macpherson wrote in his letter that he would treasure those moments all his life macpherson ended the letter hoping that the war would end soon both armies longed for peace 
and he was sure that uh, they would be together again. Having read the letter, the author put it back in the envelope. He decided to give the letter back to whom it belonged. The address was Bridport, Dorset. So he drove to that place. The house number 12 turned out to be a burnt out shell. It was found that Mrs. MacPherson was in the house when it caught fire. Firemen had got her out just in time. She was 101 years old. Now she was in a nursing home. So the author went to the nursing home to give the letter to Coney MacPherson. He met the matron. She told the author that Mrs. MacPherson was rather confused that day. They had put her in a conservatory. The author found Mrs. MacPherson sitting in a chair. Naturally, she looked up at the author vacantly. But her eyes lit up when he called her Coney and gave, and gave her the letter. He told her how he had got the letter. But she was not listening to him. She reached out and took his hand. Her eyes were filled with tears. She felt that Jim had written. She forgot. See, she thought that she mistakenly uh, took the author as Jim MacPherson himself. She said that her Jim had kept his promise. He had returned on the eve of Christmas. She made him sit beside her. She kissed his cheek. She talked long and lovingly to him. She said that she had got the best Christmas present in the world. Because it was a Christmas day, in the same day she received the letter and she thought um, the, the author as Jim MacPherson. So this is the summary of this lesson. I hope you all understood.